So this is Spectre DIY, Orange Pioneer Edition. Uh, it includes the board that has all untrusted components like the battery, the power circuit, the QR code scanner here and the casing. And so you can uh, get this and add to this the discovery board. Uh, the boards uh, from any electronics shop that contains the microcontroller that, and the screen. And also you can add there the smart cards uh, that can uh, work as a secure element for the hardware. So uh, to put this thing together, uh, what we need to do, so we need to open the casing first. And 3D printed case is a little bit fragile, so be careful here. And then here we have all the mounts, so we need to unscrew the screws. And we can mount this discovery board here. So it normally goes together with this um, screws and posts, so we need to get rid of them as well. And we can mount it on top. But before doing this, uh, we need to first flash initial firmware here. And this initial firmware upload uh, is happening uh, only once, and then after that, the updates will be uh, using the SD card. So we need to make sure that this connector uh, is in the middle position, STLK. And then after that, we need to connect the board to the computer using the mini USB cable. And you will see a demo firmware of ST Microelectronics. So now we need to switch to the computer and upload the firmware there. So here it is mounted uh, as the discovery, uh, DSF469 and I. So we go to the releases, latest release in uh, some GitHub Crypt Advanced Spectre DIY. We download initial firmware.bin and then we just copy this to the discovery. It takes a little bit of time and you also see that while it is uploading, this LED is blinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. So when it is done, you will see uh, the different screen. Meanwhile, I will remove the cover. And now you see that it shows read protection is level one now and press power button to reboot. So we basically just power cycle it. Unplug, plug it back. And then we will see after a little bit of time, choose your pin code. Okay, great. Now we are ready to continue. So uh, this was the only time when we were connecting the board uh, with mini USB cable. So now we need to switch the power to E5 volts. So external five volts here. Okay. And after that, we can mount it uh, on the board. So. Okay. Now we can put the screws in place. Okay. And now we can put the casing back. So we start with the part where the SD card is. So we make it flash. And then here we pull a little bit out from this, uh, from the board and get it uh, kind of starting uh, reaching the uh, assembling. And then the Top part, this is a little bit tricky. And then it clicks. And we are good to go. Yeah. So now if you press the button, it turns on, it beeps, and we have this choose pin code screen. Great. And you see that currently the SD the smart card is not inserted. So we have this uh, internal storage. Mm using internal storage label. So we can insert the smart card, turn it off, insert the smart card like this. And now when we turn it on, 
you will see that it is using the smart card. Before you start using the device, I certainly recommend you to charge it fully. So uh, there are a few USB ports here. So this one uh, we already used for initial firmware. Uh, then this one, the top one, is for USB communication. And the bottom one is for charging the battery. So the uh, bottom USB port is used only for charging. It doesn't even have data lines connected. So when you connect the uh, cable, you see that the, this LED starts shining. And as soon as the battery is fully charged, it will stop shining, so it will become dark again. And now we can keep it charging. And uh, I will tell you how to upload the applet to the cards if you have the card that doesn't have an applet yet.